Makes sense. I mean, we have some bangers tomorrow night. We really are. <laughs> but we'll focus now on this map four. Optic looking to close out the series over Train Hard on the Hosty and the Hard Point. And this has been like a a fantastic map for Optic at times. Yeah. A really bad. Was this the map where LG ripped off like the 240 to 10 streak, whatever yes. it was? So I mean, there's definitely been some memories for Optic. Well, I, what I was gonna say, you talked about frequency being one map that Optic's gonna play a lot. This is probably the yeah. number two map you're gonna see Optic play. Uh, a good amount. Do you think with uh, kind of the role change with what went down with Karma, is this a map that maybe you think they can improve on? I, I wouldn't see why not, right? I mean, I, I think, again, the thing I'm looking forward to most is, like, what can Scump do with a Maddox, like, more in his hands, right? Because, obviously, Karma's going to be that SOG entry guy for you, Scump. I think he's still using the SOG here, but if he decides to pull out an another Maddox, like, I just feel like that's a gun for him. Pretty similar scoreline to what we saw in the opening of the first game. Train Hard, Train Hard started out very nice and then got smoked over the next three hard points. Optic Love, early control of the garage. Scump, fantastic shots there with the SOG, but the Insta Trade comes in for Train Hard. Their next push is coming in. One player at number eight, Yako, has gone all the way through a rock and I thought was going to find a fortunate timing. He does get one on the Crim Six, but not able to apply any more pressure outside of that. So Optic continue to hold on. There was a bit of a contest in there for Train Hard for a moment. Now it looks like they're able to get in. In, in both on frequency and even now Hacienda, like we're seeing Optic always have maybe one more SOG than what we're used to seeing, right? So Karma and Scump keeping those SOGs out as Karma continues to run on through. We saw on frequency they were using three SOGs. So maybe that's a game plan for, for Optic, right? Keep the SOGs in the hands of, of Scump and Karma and, and just play with pace. It's funny because it, it seemed like when the change first came in, people played like that first day or two, like, ah, uh, probably won't be that big of a difference, yeah. that big of a change. It's been a massive difference yep. with the SOG buff. I know it's been a couple months now, but it just seems like it's been more and more influential. Well, especially when you take a look at our last grand final. <laughs> We're two of the best SOG duo teams, right? That's how Genji and United got there. Let's see what Dashi can do from his POV. Try to patrol fences. Nice shots to deal with that straight at range. Four go down. Four train hard. The fifth will fall as well. Now they're all going to be spawning out pretty close at well side, but you've got the angle from mid connector. So they're just being chopped to bits as they try to get forward towards this hard point. This has been a lovely hold from Optic in a, in a hard point that's typically pretty scrappy. They make that look pretty clean. And well, that's what, that's what a five down scenario can do. Yeah, for they, you. Ju they just get pushed out. You have Karma inside connector who's able to lock things down. Then Skunk got pushed out towards well. And, and again, that's the thing when you're running multiple SOGs, you, you can play with a, a little bit more quicker. You have. You know, that lightweight on, and you can just sort of go. Because now we get towards Rock, a 60-point lead for Optic. We'll see if Train Hard can get back into the game, because this is exactly sort of how map one went, right? It was a, it was a close game within the first two hills, and then Optic just ran away with it. Could Train Hard... Stop the bleeding sooner than later. I mean, they did bring it back in a valiant effort. Right? They, they made it a little bit more competitive towards the tail end of the game, but you got to keep it competitive. You have to try and stay at least like that. They keep that deficit between like 50 and 70. Like once it gets above that, Optic may really start to run away with this one. But for now, train hard, get back into the hard point. Final 15 seconds to go. They'll lock down Rock, and we'll start to think about the, the next set of rotations. It's Dashy popping up. One bullet away from finishing that kill, snaps back to the other side, and accurate as ever, which is Maddox. Is, <laughs> this is why you want this gun in his hands. One of the best to do it when you talk about the Maddox position. Just the pure amount of damage he's put down since he got set up in top halls. And nobody in the hill quite yet for optics, but they're trying to flip the spawns, I think, that so they can set up for garage. They're trying to just chain these two hills together, and I think behind that, yeah, you're going to see Karma fly on out, get this time, and you see where Train Hard is spawning. It's just so difficult. What's your decision now? Where do you want to attack this from? Because if you spend too much time on that side of the map, not hitting these outer edges, it's just so tough to get to garage to try to combat that second hill. And while they're doing that, you see 20 seconds have gone by where Optic have just been eating this time up. And I think that was a good example for maybe an expiring league play player or an amateur player, somebody yep. watching this from home that's trying to get better. A lot of times at hard point, don't worry about the time, fight for the spawns first, and then worry about accruing the time. And you saw a great performance there from Optic. Is up 65 yet again. They'll hold the spawns for next as well, and they'll get right into garage. 
a chance to really put train hard away here. Uh, I think Karma was trying to go for the grab there, right? Like he was just trying to set that up. Does get caught, but able to win the gunfight. Some nice crack shots out of Karma from that staircase. But it's another scenario where you just have the specialist advantage right now for Optic Gaming if they want to use it. The War Machine's used by TJ. Crim6 picks up some streaks. TJ picks up some streaks as everything clicking right now for Optic Gaming. One member gets caught reloading, so TJ's streak stays alive. I thought he was dead to rights and not going to get the Hellstorm, but somehow he's able to do it. TJ and Krim will both drop after those massive streaks, but they're sitting at 17 and 13 and 16 and 8 respectively. Krim going to call in the Hellstorm right when he comes off a of spawn. Just hover it. And not get jacket. the kill. Was he trying to just like split them there to hit both? I, don't, I mean, I don't know. I have no idea. Flat jacket's really good. No, it is. I just think he could have got that a little bit closer to the player. <laughs> it's a missile. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, not the strongest missile, I guess, Joe. No, not. <laughs> this was the hard point last time where Optic really, really dominated Train Hard. So Train Hard to get the early spawns this time. They've got to be much better and not allow Optic to come in with the quick break, but they're going to throw streaks at it. TJ, one with the Hellstorm, spots one well side at the tail end of that. Wrist does a great job, though, getting a two-piece during that streak, so keeps Trainhard in the fight. Karma, though, in, and Karma goes in big. Nice shots out of the SOG. Crim6 is going to call in his vision pulse as well. War Machine used another streak comes in.